Another important exception to Lewis theory involves expanded octets. An expanded octet is when an atom has more than eight electrons surrounding it. These expanded octets are observed only in period three and higher elements because only these elements have energetically accessible d orbitals. Energetically accessible means that while the d orbitals are higher in energy than the p orbitals, they're not so much higher in energy than the p orbitals that they can't participate in bonding. So let's look at a couple of examples of expanded octets. Here we have the Lewis structures of phosphorus pentachloride and sulfur hexachloride. The phosphorus atom in phosphorus pentachloride has an expanded octet of 10 electrons. The sulfur atom in sulfur hexachloride has an expanded octet of 12 electrons. Sometimes we're faced uh, with a dilemma in which we can expand the octet of an atom or not. Uh, such a case is the case of H2SO4, sulfuric acid. So when we attempt to draw the Lewis structure for sulfuric acid, we're faced with two main possibilities. In the structure on the left, the sulfur atom has an octet, but it also has this mess of formal charges in which the sulfur has a plus two formal charge and each of the oxygens that is not also bonded to a hydrogen has a formal minus one charge. Alternatively, we could expand the octet of sulfur, giving it an expanded octet of 12, and then have zero formal charges all around. The answer to the question, uh, which of these structures is the uh, larger contributor, is not easily answered and can only be elucidated by experiment. Experiments have shown that the sulfur-oxygen bond links with the oxygens that do not have hydrogens are short and uh, more closely resemble sulfur-oxygen double bonds than sulfur-oxygen single bonds. So therefore, the structure on the right is the uh, preferred structure. So there you go. There's just a, a little bit on expanded octets.